So, hello. Hello, Literature and Writing 338 students. Um, I just wanted to check in with you today. I know that you've now hopefully had time to take a look at the class and kind of get yourself acclimated to what's going on, read the course info sheet, all that stuff. Um, and I just wanted to give you a minute, like a little time to get some context on Unit 1. So that's what we're going to start with. I want you to think about what your own experience with children's literature has been as you're entering into this first unit. Um, did you read a lot as a kid? Were you not into books? Were you into film? Did you watch a lot of films as a kid? Um, you probably experienced Disney, since that's one of the most common um, purveyors of children's literature and film. Disney has kind of a lock on the children's lit genre. Um, so I wanted to kind of start with like just clarifying what is children's literature or what is literature? What makes literature different from other kinds of writing, I guess, or art? Um, and, you know, people sometimes say, well, it's there to entertain. And that's true. That definitely is one of the things that makes art different than um, other things. Like art is exclusively for entertainment. And when I say art, I also mean literature. I think literature is a kind of art, right? Um, so all art is for entertainment. All of it. But literature is a particular kind of art. So unlike like business memos or like kinds of writing that are just there to communicate information, um, what makes literature literature is that it's not just there to communicate information, it's there to do something else. What do you think it's there to do? Maybe take a second to think about that. It's there to help us feel things, right? So literature is there to generate emotion. It's something that tries to get us to feel something. Art and literature, any kind of art, does that, right? And what distinguishes literature from other kinds of art, like creative writing from other kinds of art, is that we're interested in using language to create emotion. So for me, literature, the definition of literature, is a specialized use of language to generate emotion. And like painting would be a specialized use of color to generate emotion, right? So, um, but, but literature is about language, so we're interested in language, and that's why we do things like close reading. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get that out there, like, so if literature is a specialized use of language, then children's literature must be a specialized use of language to generate emotions in children. Maybe that's what children's literature is. So that's kind of what I think it is. I think that that literature for children is just that. It's just literature, which is a specialized use of language to generate emotion, but it's literature designed for children. So for children's film, then that would be a specialized use of image and sound, right? Because film is image and sound. So as opposed to language, we're using image and sound to evoke emotion. And then for children's film, it would be in children, a specialized use of image and sound to evoke emotion in children.